Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now I have to be honest, I never intended to buy a Mac. It just looked cool. To me, trying to use a Mac is like trying to ride a motorcycle. I've done it once or twice before. I wasn't really that good at it, but I'm sure after a bit more practice, it's not that too hard to learn the basics. It's just different to what I'm familiar with. So I may have overreacted slightly when this thing turned up. Nope. Not too soon after though, and once I had some time to ponder, I realised that my actions may have been a little brash. When new in 2003, this top of the range G4 Mac would have set its owner back $3,300 and represented the complete opposite of my channel's purpose. These days though, I pay just 20 British pounds or 26 American dollars for this thing for nothing other than the fact that I was a little intrigued. So what can we do with it? Well, what do you say we take a look at the specs and then try and find this obsolete machine a purpose in the modern world of computing? The first thing you'll notice is the crazy interior and custom sized components not too reminiscent of old Dells from a similar time frame. The once top of the line Mac features dual 1.25 GHz power PC CPUs, 1 GB of RAM and an ATI Radeon 9000 Pro GPU as well as a 160 GB hard drive. Booting into Windows um, OS X and you get the usual interface, some toolbars at the top and a floating dock at the bottom which I have to admit I quite like. There you'll see things like iMovie HD for all your old school editing needs and GarageBand which brings back memories as I used to use this in music class in high school as I shall now demonstrate. You also get Safari browser pre-installed, although that seems to throw up a few errors every time you open it. And when I tried to access YouTube and play a few videos, which I was told was problematic anyway, it crashed. A tad inconvenient given that Firefox or Chrome, modern variants of them anyway, aren't supported by the software. In case you have one of these and are dying to put Firefox on it though, 3.6.28 is the latest available. As for gaming, there are a few older titles you can play and although I couldn't get most to work, I did have SimCity 2000 working flawlessly. So as it is, as a standard old Mac, it's usable for basic tasks, just like any really old PC. If you're a fan of Linux though, or are looking to get started with it, then turning this into a Linux based computer definitely is an option. After some research it seems Lubuntu, a fast, lightweight version of Ubuntu and Linux will work, so I downloaded version 14.04 for power PC based systems, burnt it to a disc and after delving into the system files on the Mac just to get the DVD drive opened, because you know I don't have an Apple keyboard, I restarted the system, held the C key and the Mac began to boot into Lubuntu. From there I just waited for it to do its thing and because it's Linux you don't have to install it, you can just try it out directly from the disk. Although you can tell from the low resolution I hadn't got everything set up properly at the time of filming, the system definitely felt faster with Lubuntu and it's definitely something I want to learn more about in the future. But as I sat there configuring my new Linux based computer I just had to address the elephant in the room, an itch I couldn't scratch and that was the noise. You see these old Macs were notoriously loud because of their terrible PSUs and Apple even introduced a replacement scheme where for just $20 shipping and handling they send you a 360 watt version which was quieter. Trouble is this one already has the 360 watt version inside and I can hear it from my kitchen. So I'm here in the kitchen guys as you can see kitchen equipment there. You've got your tea, coffee, sugar, cups, kettle. Can you hear the PC? Sorry, not the PC, the Mac, in the background. I'm going to leave the audio unedited. So I decided on a solution. As I was unscrewing or trying to unscrew the old power supply, I thought to myself, why stop there? Why not turn this old Mac into a PC? I mean, I'd happily use Linux, but that noise was just too off-putting. I could find a way to stick an old ATX PSU in there, but a lot of you on Twitter suggested I turn it into a sleeper build anyway, and I think it will be fun, even if it is a lot of work. So from here on out, I'm taking suggestions for this Mac. 
Should we try and turn it into a sleeper gaming PC or should we stick to old components? Whatever your thoughts, let me know below and I look forward to seeing what we can do with this old beast. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one where we will restore order and return to PC components. Thanks guys and I'll see you soon.